I've actually been in health and safety for over 40 years, uh, which is hard to believe. But I started as a structure engineer, dealing in uh, building details and building structures, reinforced concrete in particular. I, I then went on to the factory inspector, where I learned my trade and uh, went to a whole range of uh, factories, including construction sites. Uh, later moving to multinational companies like Cortels and Fison's. During this period I was president of IOSH uh, in 1991 and uh, chairman of Nibosh. And I had this dream that Nibosh students needed better books, better illustrated, and uh, the introduction series became a reality. Uh, it is ideal for a whole range of health and safety uh, practitioners as well as general managers. It's uh, great for the Nibosh construction certificate student as it covers the full syllabus. It's good for the managing safely, Irish managing safely, uh, for NVQ and also for managers after their, their study or, or, or for general reference as it has a good summary of legislation. The book faithfully covers the entire syllabus of the construction certificate. It's well illustrated and readable and therefore accessible to students of most abilities. It has exam questions uh, with some uh, example answers and there is a, a very good uh, summary of legislation which should help the student in their preparation for the exam. There's also a study skills one, particularly for students that have not studied for many years, um, as many mature people going into health and safety haven't. And uh, lastly, there's a, a, a new chapter that helps people to study the internet and gives them a lot of resources available on the internet. The fourth edition, which has been endorsed by Nibosh, that follows the complete revamp of the construction uh, syllabus for 2011. This has involved changing some chapter orders and combining other chapters. And of course there is an overlap with the general certificate for the first half of the syllabus. Uh, there is some new legislation that has been brought in, particularly on uh, uh, classification and packaging of uh, and labelling of chemicals with the European legislation. The notification of conventional tower crane regulations, which came in in 2010, and also the artificial optical radiation regulations, again a 2010 regulation. There is, in addition, a new chapter devoted to uh, studying on the internet and gives guidance on how to study and resources that are available. Get yourself fully qualified. The certificate is a good stepping stone to the professional health and safety advisor, but you need the diploma or a university postgraduate uh, course. Join IOFS, become a chartered safety practitioner and really know what you're talking about. But don't be afraid to, to swat up when you're involved in the workplace judgments, because you can't know everything, but make sure that when you face managers, you understand the problems and you know what you're talking about. It's a good idea to be reasonable. Be a can-do person. Helps people do things, not stops them doing things, but helps them do it safely. Be reasonable. But don't compromise your professional integrity. When it's low risk, be prepared to compromise. But when it's high risk, as often is on construction, stand your ground and be firm. Maintain your integrity. Don't believe everything you hear. You often find that the truth lies, and if you're experienced in uh, construction work, you'll know this, somewhere between what managers tell you and what the workforce tell you. Get involved in the profession. That way you can keep yourself up to date and put something back into health and safety.